Welcome to a new video and welcome back to my channel. So, the most amazing thing and experience happened this weekend and I still can't believe it. I'm so 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 happy ever since. I was invited to Usang's concert and it was such a beautiful and life-changing experience, honestly. Like, seeing his art live is just so breathtaking, so amazing. If you ever have the opportunity to go uh, to one of his concerts, you should, I mean, you shouldn't miss that opportunity because he's so amazing. He puts on such a great show, but that's not everything. Like, it's just like, um, you know, the way it makes you feel. The whole atmosphere that he creates, it's just so beautiful. He was all the time making sure that the fans were feeling okay, some fans like were uh, feeling dizzy and so on because it was so hot in the venue, it was a small venue so and we were a lot of people so it's understandable and he was making sure all the time even if he had to like pause the song uh, just in the middle of it he didn't care but uh, you know then he would start the song again but only after making sure that all the fans were feeling all right if someone needed water he was making sure all the time from beginning to end that everyone was feeling all right that everyone was having fun and that everyone was feeling well which is basically very important i mean as a fan i know um what fans we fans go through um, sometimes we wait in the queue for like so many hours under the sun and it's so exhausting sometimes you can't move uh, when you are inside the venue uh, you can see it, your legs hurt maybe you couldn't even eat because you don't have time you can leave the queue, I mean the line because you will uh, lose your place and then you will be like not close to the stage not close to uh, the idol or the idols and I know what that is because I have, I went through that so many times and I can't relate to that. I mean, I still go through it many times and I know how hard it is to be a fan, basically, you know. I know how the hardships that we go through and the fact that Usong knows that. I mean, he, he knows what we go through and he wants to make sure that everyone is feeling all right and that everyone is actually enjoying without, you know, feeling sick. The fact that he was so worried for everyone all the time, it was heartwarming, you know. He, he and the whole entire team, the staff, everyone treated us like human beings, you know, like, we care for you, we know what you go through and we want you to enjoy this experience as much as you can and we want you to leave, like, knowing that you have lived an amazing experience and I think that's so important the fact that they care about fans so much I'm not saying other idols don't care about fans that's not what I'm trying to say but uh, it felt there when I was there it felt like we were in a family reunion I know it sounds weird but it really felt so familiar so so family-like and it was beautiful it was like you know family reunion we were there um, ready to enjoy music to sing and to have fun and to have a good time and it felt like really intimate really close really yeah like we were with a friend you know something like that and I really love that so much that feeling that um, beautiful feeling I really want to thank Usang Jin and everyone, the staff members and Transparent Arts 
for inviting me to come for the concert because it was such an amazing experience. I will never forget that night, like never that experience. It made me so, 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 so incredibly happy. My heart was so full of joy and warm after I left. I was sad because I didn't want to leave, but <laughs> you know, um, at the same time, I was happy because I hope that I will see him again very soon. And you know, that keeps me going, the fact that I know that I can see him again. I hope so, please. <laughs> so yeah, it was such a beautiful experience for me. And I really, really, really wanted to thank Usang and Jean especially and all the staff members for being so kind and so nice. They were like so sweet. Usang is like the sweetest person ever. Like I'm not even exaggerating. He's so sweet, so kind. I had the opportunity to talk with him, to like have a little conversation and we we talked about many things <laughs> and everything was so interesting. Like talking to him is so interesting. I really love the way he thinks, the way he sees life, you know, the way he expresses himself. It was like a little interview, like one to two questions actually. And I really wanted to ask him, um, because as a singer myself, there are many things <laughs> that I'm curious about. Like, you know, I don't know, it feels like he, he can relate, you know? And I really wanted to ask him, and I did. What was the hardest thing for him when he started singing, when he started exploring his voice and training and so on? And he told me that the hardest thing for him was like, taking control, be in control, you know? And I can understand that like so well, honestly. And he also said that also expressing, you know, being able to express with his voice what he wanted to express. You know, the most important thing in music and when you're singing is to make people feel something, you know, make people feel what you're feeling. And that's really, probably the hardest thing, like not even technique or something, that it's also hard, but you know, making people feel something, that's so hard. So when he said that, I was like, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> it was so interesting. He also thanked me for um, asking him that. And I was like, no, I need to thank you because I really, really wanted to ask you that. And, and many more things, but you know, <laughs> we didn't have that much time and I, I was like uh, feeling bad kinda because I knew he was so tired so I really wanted just to leave. I mean I didn't want to leave but I wanted to like let him rest. I also told him that I was so sad when the Rose came to Barcelona because I couldn't go. Like they were in my city, I mean not my city, I don't own the city but you know what I mean. <laughs> the place where I live and I couldn't go. I was so sad. I remember I even cried because I thought I was never gonna see them. Like, literally. <laughs> I was that dramatic. And he told me that uh, they're gonna be back together soon, which makes me so, so, so happy and excited. And um, that they will tour together again and that I need to go um, the next time. And I was like, I'm gonna be there. I'm, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> like, no matter what, I, I need to be there. So, yeah, he was so, so, so nice. We were talking about different things. I'm not gonna, like, say every single detail and everything we talked about because I feel like, you know, it's, it's private, you know? <laughs> no, no, not really, not really private, but, you know, uh, I really wanted to, like, ask him those things to, like, um, let you guys know also about that. And, like, it was, like, very quick chit chat interview something like that but nothing serious just you know we were, we were just talking and it felt like talking to a friend i felt so comfortable like so so i can't even begin to express how comfortable i felt i was nervous because i'm such a big fan and i really really wanted to see him you know so i kind of get I got nervous, obviously, because I admire him so much and I felt like there were so many things I wanted to say to him, to ask him, but I knew, like, you can say everything, you cannot ask all the things you want to ask, so just focus, girl, focus. <laughs> so yeah, I tried to, like, yeah, make, I tried to make him as comfortable as I was feeling, I hope it worked, and yeah, it was 
probably the most beautiful experience I have ever had. I'm like, I'm not even exaggerating, honestly. I, why I feel like I'm gonna cry? Honestly, guys, I'm just, <laughs> I can't, I don't know. You know, lately I, I cry so easily. I mean, not lately. If you have been here on this channel, I mean, if you know me, <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Like, I cry so much, it's actually um, worrying, but whatever. <laughs> I'm not crying because I'm sad, or I mean, I'm not crying, but I don't feel like crying because I'm sad or anything, it's just that I'm so, so, so happy that I feel like crying just for some kind of reason. <laughs> whatever, just don't mind me right now. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> well, whatever, it was the most amazing. Oh my God, I'm 15 minutes. You're gonna just, you know, bring some tea, sit down. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a long video, whatever. So this was just an intro, and I've been talking for like 15 minutes. Wow, you. I hope you don't mind, whatever. What I wanted to say once again, thank you very much, Usang. Thank you very much, Jin, because Jin is like the sweetest honestly he's so nice and it's so easy to talk with him also and you know he makes you feel so they all make they all make you feel so welcome and it was amazing honestly Usong and Jian were the best people ever I really really wanted to thank them for inviting me for you know uh, for the way they treated me because I really felt so good and I truly, truly appreciate it. Also, I want to thank Usang for like the way he treats everyone and the fans, you know? He treats everyone like as a friend. And yeah, that's, that's something that fans, we fans appreciate so much. And the fact that um, he worries so much and he cares so much and was like, all the time making sure everyone was all right that's something so beautiful and that we feel so thankful for overall it was like the best thing i have ever experienced like that's it i think that's the way the best way to describe it i want to say again if you ever have the opportunity to see usang or the rose in concert please do i promise you will never ever regret because it's such a beautiful atmosphere, such a beautiful feeling, such a beautiful experience. You you gotta leave that, honestly. And yeah, please do it. If you ever have the opportunity, go for it. I mean, don't, don't even think about it. Just go for it and enjoy because it's honestly a magical experience. I promise you. And with that being said, I will now let you watch the video. Another lazy afternoon. Clouds covered in grey, third coffee of the day Almost fell asleep on Zoom I yawn at the display, third meeting of the day But I can hear raindrops that dancing on the roof It's like they're calling out, don't lose your youth Cause I can stay inside and echo inside oh,
of motivation? Um, I just don't do anything. <laughs> Honestly, when I have, yeah, yeah, you, uh, when you have lack of motivation, why force it to have motivation? I think just kind of uh, do you, do things that make you happy, and um, kind of try to just get over it. But it, does, it, it might take one year, it might take a week, it might take one day, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think we all have different timings. It doesn't have to be so fast, right? So I just take time off. Today was not a bad day. I thought, I thought it was a very good day. Um, yeah. But on days where we have just all the things that go wrong, I just let it go wrong. There's nothing I can do. Uh, I gotta accept it and then just uh, make the best out of it. Um, you know, and just expect expect that anything else could go wrong, <laughs> and and I'll be okay. Yeah, at the end of the day. Uh, when I write, what is my mindset when I write together with the rose and my own songs? So the difference. Um, What's the difference? Okay, I think the biggest difference is with the rose, uh, nobody makes the calls. <clears throat> nobody can say, I want to do it like this, so we're going to do it like this. Even though you say that, it, it, it won't go through. It needs to be like a four people decision. Um, you know, we all own 25% of the rose. So if, you know, one day I really want to do something, but Hajin doesn't want to do it, then you can't do it, you know? and vice versa, no matter what. So, um, my solo project is a little bit different. If I want to do it, I do it. <laughs> it's uh, in my head and what I want to show you guys. So, I think the mindset of going into the rows is patience. Um, going into solo is being more decisive. Yeah, not leaning on people to kind of help me out with the decisions, because then I tend to regret it later on. Yeah, thank you. Two questions. <laughs> the first one is really hard. Would I take that and then read your question? Is that what you said? No, no, no. Oh, so just read the question, but who do I answer it to? Just by myself? Where do I pick my outfit? I like your style, but I can't find the... Oh, okay, okay. Where do I pick my outfit? Usually, okay, so there's not one store that I go to. Um, I like a certain fit, so I go around a lot of places looking for whatever this fit is. But if the, uh, the more common ones that I've been wearing recently is, I'm not sponsored by them, uh, C2H4. They have, yeah, C2H4 is pretty good. Uh, these pants I bought, uh, they're vintage pants. I don't even know what they are. Someone wore it before I just bought them. Um, and yeah, like, that's how I found my clothes. So. What is your biggest and proudest moment in your life? <laughs> biggest and proudest moment? Yeah. Right now.
I was gonna call, uh, I wanted to call, and then I wrote it down on my notes for my new next solo album. I don't know if I was gonna use it, but to say it, it was, I was thinking maybe essentials, and then we'll have like, we'll name the songs as like what human essentials are, by the order of which I think is most important to me. That's what I was thinking. So like there's like, yeah, there's like eating, you know, breathing, sleeping, uh, the other thing. <laughs> And then I was gonna number it. Okay, I'll think about it. And then uh, the song titles will just be like, you know, breathing, <laughs> sex. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of yeah. All right, let's get over to the next question. <laughs> I think this will be our last question. Maybe again for the first one. <laughs> yeah. I lost my voice. I lost my voice. <laughs> what gets me going? What? Your photos with you. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Thank you for working so hard and losing your voice. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Well, we'll take amazing photos. I have forever living memories. Thank you so much for coming today. Yeah. A whole lot better